So I've got for you the Mini Countryman. This is the new Mini Countryman. They all come as electric now. So this is the Mini Countryman SE All 4. This one looks pretty cool because it says John Cooper works on it as well. So that's pretty funky. Now the price for the standard price is 46, uh, 600, 46,600. But with the spec on this car, it's actually a car that's 56,000 pounds plus so again i'm on an smt driving day i'm driving lots of cars i have little time with all the cars but i will do a quick walk around we'll look at the car we'll look at the practicality as much as we can and we'll then also take it for a drive um, but i'll put all the spec and everything on the screen just to tell you quickly it's 302 horsepower zero to 62 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds and it's got a range of 251 miles so let's have a quick look around it and then we'll uh, take it for a drive a brown car guy. very funky looking look at the front of this thing and this is all textured I mean look at that that is a lot of detail I mean I'm guessing that's where the um, the charging is it's camera on the front there black mini badge this one's got stripes on it you got to have stripes on your mini right but the headlights are very different it's got quite a different look about it I got to be honest compared to a mini and it is a big car I mean I have to pull right back here to show you the whole car as you can see that is a largish car get that right that is a pretty large car that John Cooper works now that actually covers the window then you have that look at the rear tail lights on this thing massive boot mini countryman s so let's see if I can open this there you go it is powered I think and a pretty large boot actually not bad at all split folding so you got oh this quite split three ways so and then you've got okay a little bit of space there and then here you've got where you can put the cables and stuff like that you've got light you've got hooks you've got hooks there as well and you've got a uh, first aid kit all the rest of it so that's quite practical and then of course like i said it is powered so look at it. the ground there's no obviously no tailpipes but it has this massive spoiler there really sort of cutting into the window um so yeah so this is the main thing about this car and it's quite high roof there look at that so that's quite interesting because this is the window and then that's the roof the extended sort of extended roof there but the interesting thing is that yeah it's the least mini looking of the new minis i think that's not to say it's not a handsome car let's see what it's like in the rear right so i don't know if this seat is set for me because i haven't actually sat in that driver's seat yet so it's quite far back so that's actually rubbing so when i get in the front you'll be able to see if i have to move it forward um as usual with evs uh foot room is a little bit tight because the floors tend to be higher but knee room is just about okay this is digging into me i hope it's possible to recline these seats because they seem a little bit upright so I can't really see that there, there must be a way to recline these seats but I can't see an easy way to do it so anyway what else have we got here armrests with um, cup holders in there seats are nicely designed bit of flourish bit of design you can see here some design elements there and over here you've got uh, the USBs and you've got two vents in the back as well and that's, that's, I mean, that comes in quite a bit, doesn't it? That comes in quite a bit to the rear. And then you've got the nice sort of uh, door handles as well, which are actually quite mini reminiscent. And again, these sort of uh, oval shape things also very mini reminiscent. Um, so not too bad. Uh, let's see what the front is like. Actually, what I'm going to get out, it's got, oh, I think it's got a full length. Uh, this, I think, will open as well, this sort of canopy, this sort of canvasy roof here. But when I get out, let me just see if it's possible. <laughs> to adjust ah. yes so you can actually recline the seat there so actually that gives you a bit more room to go back a bit more comfortable all right so here we are now in the front and actually if anything i think i have to move the seat back a little bit so that does rub a bit of room from the back doesn't it and that 
Yeah, so I've had to actually move the seat back a little bit. So yeah, so maybe a little bit less space in the back than we originally thought. A shelf there, shelf there. I think that might be wireless charging there. Then you've got cup holders there. Then you've got this sort of lovely little box with the mini strap handle there. And then you've got uh, the down here, you've got USB charging points, 12 volt supply as well. Glove box, nice sort of canvasy thing there. And then you've got this pattern that's all along the top here. So a lot of detail, a lot of Harman Kardon tweeters, a lot of nice touch and of course the steering wheel which is seen in the in the mini as well the regular mini hatchback with this kind of the third spoke is actually material stretchy material which is kind of cool actually and then this big center screen which is the new thing on this car so i think it's it's, it's quite comfortable at the front um let's see if there's a way of opening this uh there you go that will get some more uh, light into here and make it feel even more spacious right time to take it for a drive hey are you liking this video then make sure that you hit the like button that's really important also tell everybody so we are on power oh there you go did you hear that can you see that a little bit i think i should turn that a little bit so like that you can see that's come on and then we go into drive so now we're in drive and uh, let's go. Put the mirror a little bit so we can see where we're going. Just open up the window a little bit. So heads up display on here as well on this little screen down here. Um, I think there must be a way of adjusting it because it's a bit low for me at the moment. But again, like I said, because these are very, we have very short time with these cars. So there isn't a lot of time to experiment with the controls and stuff like that. So really it's about just getting a feel for the practicality, uh, how the car suits you in terms of space and comfort, and how does it drive. So this is, this is really what we can explore uh, on these very short runs that we're doing here today. And so this has a boost button on it. I might give that a try later on, although there's not a lot of space where we can do that. But um, other than that, it's like it's very quiet, obviously. There isn't that sound um, that you would expect. But it is it is an EV. This is a full EV. They come as EVs now. Can't see what the range is. 198 miles. So this must have been just charged, I guess, freshly charged. Um, but it's early in the day, so I'm probably one of the first people in the car. So here we are, so it's, we can still see the mini fluted bonnet with the head headlight flutes and stuff like that. So you can still see the contour of the mini there, but we're getting going now. You can, you can you get the kind of noise that BMW like to put in the EVs, which I am very grateful for. I know some people are like, oh, artificial noise. I'm like, no, I want noise. You know, even if it is artificial, I want it. Good turning, good response from a mini even. And the ride is not, not too bad at all. So it's a, even though it's a large car, oh, the braking, you get oh, regen braking, I guess that's what's happening. So, you know, I don't know if it's got one pedal mode, but certainly you don't need to use the brake too much. Or do you? <laughs> uh, surprisingly resistant to understeer, although it kind of almost wanted to understeer there. Uh, but I eased off enough for it to just coax it, coax it around the corner. But actually quite responsive. And this is actually fun to drive. Yeah, I would say this is actually not, not too bad. It's quite entertaining. Not too bad at all. There we go, turning in. Let's punch it through here. Ah, oh, nice. Ah, oh, now we've really got the sci-fi sound coming on going. <laughs> That's kind of good, isn't it? Oh, there it is, isn't it? Let's turn it in. Okay, so let's hit the boost. Oh. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right, this is, this is quite fun. It's all got red there. It's got a red racing flag and stuff like that. But, oh, wow. I mean, it's good turning. Good grip holding onto the surface. Actually, you know what? This is actually quite entertaining in the sense that... Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> what a great bunch of noises it's making. But uh, honestly, not bad at all. Uh, you know what? If you want a uh, mini countryman because you want to get the family around, Although maybe children in the back. Um, and you want it to be an EV, then check this one out. Definitely. Oh, I like that. Good. I mean, the torque is there when you want it, right? Caught up with traffic. So it's go slow from here. Because um, I don't know where you're allowed. Because I think it's only in certain circumstances you're allowed to overtake. Anyway, we're near the end of this bit. But yeah, I think that overall, astonishing in the sense that it has the mininess in it. But BMW are actually quite getting quite good at this, aren't they? 
What's that weird noise, right? But it's kind of fun. It's interesting that. Yeah, many even BMW are getting quite good at this EV thing in the sense that they're trying to create these performance vehicles that still feel a little bit, have the sort of, you know, a sensation of actually driving them. But, you know, but being an EV. And I think that in my book, I think BMW with this car and with the BMW cars is probably doing it better than anyone. So well done. So yeah, I like this, not bad. Um, not cheap, no cars are these days. Um, and you, of course, you'll want all the spec, you'll want all the equipment because, you know, in a car like this, you do. But overall, not bad, uh, reasonably comfortable. Just check the rear space if you're going to get one, put your family in it, make sure that you all fit comfortably in the car. I am on the tall side, so maybe you wouldn't be sitting so far back. But other than that, very nicely appointed, very cool car. Yeah, thumbs up for me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Check this out, guys. It's my book. It's my first novel, and it's written for car fans like you. It's a fun political action thriller. It's full of cool cars and spectacular action. Get your copy now at Amazon.com. Shout out time, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, if you enjoy my content, why not get involved? Buy me a coffee. You can do that at either of these links. Or if you're watching on YouTube, buy me a thanks or take out a membership. It all helps. It really does.